Hey what's up guys? In this video we are going to look at how we got this pagination based table using and design table component and showing it on an inertia based page. We will be handling things like you know, customizing the rows of a table so that we can have this edit and delete icon. We will also have some basic configuration for the pagination so that you know, we can have this effect of single page application and we can also get the pagination to work with the basic laravel scaffolding that we get. So without wasting much time let's get started. But Before we start I would like to take this opportunity to tell you that if you are liking this video and the previous you know, videos that I have uploaded in this series then do click on the thumbs up icon and yes don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So let's dive in now. So here we are inside the code. For this particular page we have in the menu I have this link which says view patients. It is taking me to slash patients which is a get request in the web.php file. It is calling the patient controllers index method and we have a name patients.list. So let's look at what we have in the patient controller. The patients controllers index method is quite simple. It is doing a query. It's a pagination based query. We are ordering the records based on the created at and whatever is the data we are passing to the inertia component which is the patient's component and then that's all there to is uh, this particular you know backend implementation and yes definitely the backend implementation in this particular case is quite straightforward the most of the heavy lifting is on the front end because you know doing a pagination based query in Laravel is as easy as this you know three blocks of code again I have added that as three lines but you can actually do it in one fair enough let's see so what we have um, let's go to the page which is inside resources javascript pages patients.tsx okay now in here I have done something new I was telling you that I ideally use interfaces to define what is the shape of the data which is coming as props. So if you see unlike locations.tsx let me show you where I have array any in patients I have not done that. I have used I paginate patient. I paginate patient basically means it's a pagination based object for the patient and the I represents an interface so that we can easily understand it. Now how are we how are we getting it? Why don't we open this file? So I paginate extends sorry I paginate patient extends I paginate and in there we have data which is an array and of type I patient. So that's this is the second new thing and we have this I paginate as well. I paginate I know is a generic kind of an interface because let me show you first on this page if I go to the page and I show you the data you will see this is the typical data structure for Laravel to send its pagination data we have current page data first page URL from last page so on and so forth which means what we expect is a very predictable sense of data for all the keys except in the data we will have different kind of objects based on what model or data we are returning right. So what I thought of doing was to create this scaffolding this first interface which is ipaginate where the data is of type array but I declared it as unknown and then the paginate patients interface what it does is it, it extends the paginate I paginate interface okay but here because I know that I paginate patient is a very specific structure I said okay you know here is the override for this particular interface where I'm saying that I'm still expecting an array but it will be not of type any here I know that it is going to be of type I patient 
and obviously inside i patient i have these values which are nothing but the mapping of the model or the columns inside the database so with these three files we are pretty much describing the shape of the paginated patient information okay so let me close these three files and we are here our patients page so in the patients page what we are saying is we are expecting patients data as a prop so we have destructured it here okay let me close the table columns and this and let's first look at what we are doing in the rendering this page is quite simple we have a divider which says patients and then we have this data table this table is coming from ant design let me show you so i have this divider then column and then straight away i have created this table component inside the table component you need to tell the table which is the unique key for that for each row i have decided to use the id here then we have the data source data source is as the name suggests the key or another you know, variable where we will get the entire data which the table needs to show obviously then the third attribute here is describing what columns we are expecting or what columns we are trying to show in the table so let's look at the columns pretty quickly it's an array of objects where i am describing generally three properties one is the title this is what is going to come over here on the you know row header then there is the data index i am assuming this is something which the table needs to understand what kind of um, column the table will be mapping to but then there is a key as well and both i have kept as same but i think the data index is basically the column name i'll okay actually while explaining why don't we change it now if the key is something else then what is going to happen is we will still get the data let me refresh and we do so if we make this as 3 to 1 and now if i refresh okay this is weird ideally this shouldn't have worked because the key has changed so it should have thrown some kind of an error because it should not be able to understand what column to show let me see if i refresh again yes now it is doing it which means that the data column or the data index is responsible for mapping this particular column to the field which is coming or rather the key of the data which is in our case the database field name so we have patient id name phone number visits okay everything is fine last visit this is a little irritating i'll have to configure my webpack to disable the notifications anyways um right so so far so good and then we have this actions column this actions column is the last one over here in here we are saying that the title is obviously action the key is id which is fine and then there are ways where if you have data index then you put the name of the column but if you want to render something different if you want to show in a, inside a table some html markup what you do is you call this render property and inside that you do all your markup so that when the table is getting rendered that particular row will pick this markup oops okay so we have used the space over here inside the space i have edit outline icon and delete outlined icon this icon library is available with ant design i haven't downloaded it from any other place and it's a very nice um, icon library okay so yes this is the set of the columns which we are rendering obviously the table component here we, we have seen these three things the uh, on change the on change property is something which gets triggered whenever there is any change in the table data now this means when 
we have a paginated object and if the user clicks on any of the links inside the pagination or the back and next arrow this particular function gets triggered and when this function gets triggered we are calling the handle table change data change okay in this particular function we get three parameters obviously i am not using the first uh, the second and the third parameter i was more interested in the first parameter which is the pagination object okay what i am doing here is i am creating the route and then there is this current property so whenever a user is cl clicking let's say let me first console this so that you have some idea of what i am talking about i'll just do the pagination thing maybe i'll show you this console.table this is a nice way of representing the data okay right so do you see we have i clicked on second and hence the current was two current shows us two page size is 10 which is fine default current is one that's a different thing if i click on six now you can see that the current which was initially two now became six page size is same default current is same total is same position and show size changer so these are some of the properties what i understood is whenever a user is clicking on any of the numbers or if i hit back now you can see the current changes to five so this is the parameter i was interested in i created or uh, formed a string url sorry this string url which is route patients dot list plus question mark page equals and then the current because this is how the pagination goes from one page to other okay and then what i did was i actually programmatically visited the url which just formed okay and why did this work so the basic idea is that we have an inertia based response right this entire page is an inertia response this page is coming from this route so if i am able to send the parameter the pagination parameter to this particular url then the page will re-render itself because the data has changed and i will get the updated data and that is the reason the implementation of the react um a library of the pagination became very easy for me right so let me remove that right so the build is done let me close it out okay right so we saw the on change and then there are certain things which we need to set in our pagination for example what is the current page so when we are you know not showing any query parameter it will default to one but obviously these are things which are coming from the laravel's paginated object and hence i don't need to worry about it default current i kept it as one so that whenever there is no data available it should stick to the first page the page size is again coming from the um you know laravel's paginated object let me open it up so that you understand what i'm talking about so we have current which is patients dot current page which is here okay then we have default current page size is again available to us where is page size per page right so all these are being taken from the paginated object and then we have total position and show size changer is set to false so with this things in place we finally got our table which allows you to not only view paginate but also edit and delete records in the next video i'm going to show you how we are going to implement the edit and delete of this table as well and on top of that i feel we would also need some basic filter and sort kind of things which are already available with the ant design so i am going to cover it because those things are required in this listing of the table so yes that's it for now see you in the next video